Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So we were trying to go, originally we had planned to go to the Owens River. The Owens River is a very well known river here in the Eastern Sierras for fly fishing and fishing of all sorts. Uh, but then we realized that up in the Big Pine area, which is also in the Eastern Sierras up to 395, there are some rivers that run down from the mountains and we wanted to check it out because it would be much cooler temperature wise. Down by the Owens River it's really hot, it's like 100 degrees. There's like, it's probably extremely windy right now. What I was saying was down by the Owens River, it's gonna be really hot, like 100 degrees. So we were checking it up up here, but checking it out up here, but uh, it doesn't look that great for fishing. So we're gonna stick to the original plan, head down to the Owens River. Uh, we're camping out for the night. It's gonna be really hot. We're gonna go get groceries, maybe cook up some good food, just hang out and uh, get some fishing done. Stopped by at the local fly shop, grabbed a couple flies, some strike indicators, this super cool rainbow trout sticker. I don't know where I'm gonna slap that on because I'm getting rid of this old boy here, so probably on the tundra. I had something to say, but now I'm forgetting. So I guess I guess we'll just go get groceries and then get to the spot. Hopefully it cools down. It's damn hot right now. Man, that's a cool shop though. Do you know what it's called? Max Max Sporting Goods. If you're ever in the Bishop area, cool shop. The guy was really nice. All right. Let's go. Got our groceries. Oh, wow. We could, f dude, this looks like a good spot to fish. A little bit fast, the current, but. Oh, I saw a peak right there. Nice. It's a good sign. Guys, it's so sunny and hot that we're setting up this, this easy up awning tent. Uh, it's my girlfriend's parents, so shout out to Teresa and Brandon for letting me borrow it. But there's literally like, it's a super cool campground, but there's really no shade at all. So uh, let's see if we can figure this out. I think it's brand new. I don't think they've ever used it. Oh, really? I think. Grab this corner. I'm pretty sure. You've used one? Yeah. 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 Pick it up. should click. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you just click? Yeah, it did. You should start a YouTube channel, Easy Up Tutorials. Ooh, easy up here. <laughs> this is a terrible time to use it. We're like not even gonna be sitting under the Easy Up. The sun is actually pretty low down in the sky. So this is really isn't a good time to use this Easy Up awning. Oh well, we have it for tomorrow. Back to the puzzle. You know you could have gotten like drawstrings and attached them all back together again. There's no need. This the is better. Cord. This is better. More minimalist, right? Exactly. Ultralight. Gotta, gotta shave weight. <laughs> 
once again tonight I will be sleeping in my truck this actually this very well could be the last time that I ever take the Tacoma out on a truck camping adventure I'm gonna be selling it because I have the Tundra now and I don't need the Tacoma uh, so yeah that's kind of it's kind of bittersweet I love this truck it's it's been a great truck it has never let me down and uh, I guess it'll be on to its new owner oh shit Fishing line right here. Bastards. Oh, it's a little chilly. Woo. Oh, that feels good. You could use this as a lap pool. We got these salads at Vaughn's, pre-packaged salad, mmm. And uh, mine says it's like a shake, a shake salad. You put the ranch, or not ranch, the dressing in, and then you just shake everything up. But mine doesn't even have a lid to shake it. So what the hell? What am I supposed to do? Just stir it, I guess. False advertising. It's, it should be advertised as a, a stirring salad, not a, not a shaking salad. Wow, the sky is blowing up in color right now. This sunset is like, whew, my word. Just like, look behind me. What? <gasps> this is freaking epic, dude. Oh my gosh. Found Kang, he's been fishing this whole time, like always. You caught a fatty, right? Caught a big one. Yeah, but he doesn't have any photos or anything to prove it. <laughs> We're headed back to the campsite now. That was absolutely unreal. I was not, 
I was not prepared for that. That was insane. I don't know if you could see me, but until we get there, in the meantime, uh, why don't we hear a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you're looking to build a website or an online portfolio, Squarespace is the all-in-one spot to build your online presence. I've been using Squarespace for years now to showcase my photography portfolio, so when they reached out to work together, I was very excited. With a large range of fully customizable design templates, ones that actually look really professional, I should add, Squarespace makes it easy to focus on the content of your website while still having an attractive aesthetic. Yes, aesthetics are very important to me as a photographer and a filmmaker. Another thing I really like about Squarespace is just how easy it is to obtain your domain name and manage your website all in one place. Although I haven't personally used it yet, I also do like the blog-friendly features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes. Maybe one day I'll finally start the blog that I've been talking about for years. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jonathan Yench to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Dude. The final hoorah. Use your tea. <laughs> you hear that? That animal's trying to get some yeah. more ramen. Yeah, it's definitely over there. Guys, so earlier, right. Kang, Kang said he heard an animal, and so we come over to my truck, and there's all these little paw prints all over my truck. And I actually like went into the truck to get something, and I noticed there was dirt all along the inside all along there and so i'm like what the hell where, where did all this dirt come from i don't remember that i saw the paw prints we look inside i kind of cleaned things up since it happened but there was paw prints inside the truck like all over the stuff so the little raccoon had gotten into my truck and was searching for food just goes to show you always gotta lock up your doors and close your windows when you're camping right now to have right now to have a fire in inyo county where we are you actually have to have a fire permit so if you're going to camp in this area make sure you uh stop by the local the local bureau of land management office or forest department or one of those or go online there's a there's a way to do it online too so you can get a fire permit so you can have a fire you even need one to actually um use a camp stove right now so fall fire regulations guys we don't want wildfires Man, it is hot in here. There's so many bugs out right now. And also, a raccoon literally ran and jumped into the bed of my truck. Like, I watched it, or I heard it, and I saw it. I turned and looked, and I saw it run into the bed of my truck. And I ran up and pounded it on the side of the camper, and it jumped out. Ballsy little guys. Oh, man, it's hot. I hope it cools off. But I'm going to bed now. Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.
still so many. <sighs> the worst thing that could possibly happen happened to me last night. The whole night I just kept hearing like zzz, zzz, buzzing and I knew there was like a mosquito or two in there, but this morning I woke up and they were literally just scattered. So many mosquitoes were inside the truck shell. Like so, it was disgusting. I was like was killing them all and they all had so much blood in them. So they're literally just all having a Thanksgiving feast, going to town, chomping away. I'm probably gonna be covered in mosquito bites. They're literally swarmed everywhere. It was disgusting, disgusting. Well, we're gonna get some morning fishing in. Hopefully the bite's good. Well guys, no luck this morning fishing. It was really slow, didn't get a single bite, didn't see any trout in the river, but honestly, sunrise views, totally worth it. When I go out and fly fish, it's not really about catching fish. It's more just the experience of being out here, hanging out, relaxing, you know, the whole package deal. And in that sense, it was, it delivered, this spot delivered. I think we're gonna go Maybe make breakfast and coffee and all that. Maybe fish more, I don't know. It's kind of all up in the air right now, so we'll figure it out as we go. So I recently got this cool new coffee invention contraption thing. It's called a porigami. Well, actually, I got it a long time ago, but I only started using it recently. It's a pour, It's basically just a pour over that packs down really small. And I guess the idea is it's better if you're like camping and stuff, but that's it. Pretty cool. It makes a great cup of joe. So like with most coffee brewing methods, you're gonna wanna pre-wet the filter to get rid of any of that paper flavor. It's a tangy cup of coffee.
So we just went to a place called Schatz Bakery here in Bishop, California. Some of you may be familiar with it. It's this like really famous bakery. They have like strudels, breads, pastries, sandwiches, tons of stuff. Absolutely delicious. Definitely check it out if you're in the area. But that being said, I'm actually going to end the video here. Thank you guys like always for watching. Um, everyone, actually, I didn't mention this earlier, but Kang, Kang over here is going away to school. So wish him luck. He's moving up to Humboldt next week. This is kind of a send off trip. So uh, good luck. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, which I've probably said three times by now. <laughs> and uh, see you in the next one.